Hey everybody, Martika here. Welcome. So I am coming to you today with some fall dresses. And these aren't just any fall dresses, but very, very easy to sew, beginner friendly, and experienced sewers love <laughs> uh, that you can definitely layer up or you can wear them alone. They're also very easy to dress up depending on the shoes and accessories you put with it. And they're very easy to dress down if you want to wear like your sneakers with it or your flat boots or whatever. These dresses are so versatile and I'm pretty sure that if you've been sewing for a while, you if you don't have all of these patterns, you definitely have one or some. And I believe that you are going to love what you see and probably remember that you have it in there once you see it. So the first pattern I want to show you is McCall's 8058. This has been around a long time. Now, if you don't have this particular pattern in your collection or your stash. You guys, this used to be McCall's 6886. So if you have this pattern right here, then it is actually McCall's 8058. Now these are, this is the same pattern, just different numbers. So just to let you know. So let's talk about this just for a moment. So this pattern here, the reason why I pulled it, it is easy to sew as all of these patterns that I'm showing you are, but you have your long sleeve version, you even have your shorter sleeve version and your no sleeve version. Now, this particular pattern, it calls for knits, but it gives you like more of a fitted look, but not snug tight okay it's not like body fitted but it's cut closer in to the body but you do still have breathing room with this pattern okay you have different lengths that you can make it in you can easily layer it up with like a blazer or if you're going for a casual look you can do like a hoodie over it or a zip up hoodie if you want to you can easily do like a moto jacket with it you can layer this in so many different ways and like I said Say you can dress it up kind of like what she's done here in the photo or you can dress it all the way down and put on some really cute sneakers with it but if it's cool you're sewing it for the season coming up you have your long sleeve version okay so it isn't easy to sew here are your line drawings as you can see it's just like straight to the point on all on all three of these views and actually you have all the way up to view f so you even have some more views to take a look at here with different neck cuts you have like a v neck you have your scoop neck there so you have some options there as well but yeah i just absolutely love this pattern and love the simplicity of it now the next pattern that i have it is a learn to sew level one all of these, in my opinion, are beginner friendly. And this is McCall's 8064. And you might say, well, that looks something like the last one. Yes, it does. But the difference with this one is, is that it's not like that fitted look. You have a little swing. This is more of your A-line cut dress, okay? This is a knit as well. As a matter of fact, all of these I'm showing you are knits. But you have a different cut at the end because you're going to get a little sway just like what she has and i think that this is just styled so very cute this definitely screams fall if you ask me okay now she has on like some little tights or some stockings with hers but you can put on like say like your um your opaque tights or uh no tights if you want put on your little booties or whatever put your simple accessories and make this look really cute and as we know we can get knits in all type of prints so you can make several of these and make them look different okay you even have your long sleeve version okay in this you will learn your stitch tim and you will learn how to put on a neckband if you are a beginner but this is just a really good pattern it is a learn to sew you can dress it up you can dress it down you can layer it and you can be on your way and you can wear this so many times throughout this season great great pattern now the next one that i have is 
McCall 7122. Now you might say, Martika, now that looks just like the other one, just in a different print. I'm going to show you the difference of the two. Now this is a also a level one learn to sew pattern. So you get to learn how to do a neckband and you get to learn how to do raglan sleeves in this one. Now let me put this up close and show you. This one here, this is a regular sleeve cut. Okay, these are not raglan sleeves. It is not a drop sleeve. Your seam is at your shoulder. All right, let me show you the line drawings because I didn't do that. Uh, this is the line drawings for 8064, the one I just showed you a minute ago. But in 7122, let me bring that closer. You have your raglan sleeves, and that is where your sleeve comes all the way to the neckline and it flows all the way down to the wrist or wherever it stops. Okay, and then your dress cut is like basically at the neckline and at the underarms. Okay, the raglan sleeve is so easy to do. I actually love sewing these because they are so simple, so fast, and easy. So that is the difference between. Between these two and I will turn this over so that you can see the line drawing a little bit better on this 7122 and you can clearly see that raglan sleeve cut on here versus when your seam is at the shoulder okay but yeah the same as the last one you can dress this up dress it down i love the little sandals she have on with this um in the summertime these look really cute with like some wedges but when it turns to fall you could do like your longer sleeve this one right here is actually a tunic top so this is a top and not a dress okay so you can put that on with like some jeans or some leggings or something you know pants that's fitted or even some wide leg pants would look really cute with that so this one you get a few more options with now the next one that i pull it's not a learn to sew but it is an easy to sew and this is mccall 7967 now this knit dress is just a little bit different from the others because like the first one i show it does give more of a slim fitting look but your sleeves are different. You have like that gathered or that puffier sleeve. And if you do uh, view C, then you have like a little gathering in at the uh, V part there uh, in the front. So very cute. You have all type of sleeve variations with this one. You have your long sleeve here in view A, but the neckline, you have a really cute, like a mock V cut. I want to say it's, it's just cut a little bit different, but in view D, it's the same dress, but your neckline is more of like a uh, high, just around just your regular neckline. Now view B is a shorter dress length, but you have like a scoop neck. So you have a little bit of a deeper cut with view B. So you have all type of different options. And you guys, these, like I said before, these are not dresses that you just make once and you're gone. But you can take several different prints of knit. You can do solid knits. You can make this dress over and over and over again, and it looks different. You can pair it up with blazers. All of these dresses, you can put them on with a blazer, or like I said, like a really cute moto jacket, or cardigans. You can even layer them up with cardigans and just make them look different. You can belt them if you want to. So you have so many options here when it comes to these really cute knit dresses. And the next one that I uh, spotted in my sash was New Look 6298. This is an easy to sew just for knits. You guys, as you can see, it's very simple. It's a cute little straight line knit dress with pockets, okay, with large pockets on the front. Now, if you're not a pocket person, you want to omit those, you definitely can. But this too is a raglan sleeve dress. So it's going to be really easy to sew. As you can see, they're showing it, uh, showing you in prints. This is view B that she is wearing, but there's also view C where you have like a three quarter length sleeve and then view D where you have like a band at the end of the dress. Then you have view A, which is a longer version and it has like a flow, kind of like your A-line cut. 
very cute, very easy to sew. And um, yeah, I just think that it is well worth it. I'm sorry I didn't show you the line drawings in the last one, but I will show you in this one. Um, you can see your lines are very simple in the back of the dress. View A, that longer dress does have a split on the side. Very, very easy, you guys. Very easy. So the last one that I uh, spotted, is Simplicity 9701 Mimi G. And as you know, scan the barcode and you can it, uh, it'll take you right to the sew along with this dress on her YouTube channel. This particular dress is, I have been told, I have not sewn this one, but I have seen it sewn and I have seen it made over and over and over again because it's so easy only a couple of pieces to put together pretty much the front the back the sleeves that's it you have this really cute cut in the front you can do it in two different lengths like that maxi length or the shorter knee length uh knee length you can cut it shorter if you want it's totally up to you but this is one i would say that's real that would be it's more fitted of course now if you want more ease uh you want it to be a little looser for your body type you can definitely do that just grade up to the next size that you think that you would be with this fit so just go to, up to the next size and then you you know kind of pin and tuck where where you need to <laughs> along the process when you try it on but this is really cute you can pair this up i could see this like with a long duster very cute with the same matching knit fabric or a printed fabric if you're going to do the dress in a solid. I have seen this dress made in a printed knit. Very, very cute. This is one of those you just can't go wrong with. It is, it, it's very um, sleek. It's a night. It just shows your body shape. Put on the right body shaper underneath and you are ready to go. Put it on with the right shoes. You're good to go. If you want to break this down to more of a casual look, I could easily see this being paired up with like a jean jacket. You could even shorten the sleeves if you want, but like a really cute jean jacket with some tennis shoes. I think that would be so cute with some hoop earrings. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. That's getting me excited to want to go ahead and sew this dress up, but yeah, just to show you just the lines back here. Actually, you cut two. So you have, you know, two pieces that you cut in the back. So you got the back, the whole front and the sleeves. That's it. But very, very cute dress. So you guys, I hope that this has helped you remember <laughs> the patterns that you do have that you probably haven't sewn up or you might have just sewn once and say, hey, I got those patterns already. I don't even have to go and buy anything. I just need to grab some fabric out of my stash or go get me some knit fabric from somewhere and get to sewing up me a collection of really cute, easy to sew fall dresses that I can wear over and over and over again. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have these patterns and what you do plan on sewing up. If this got you excited to get going, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Have a great one, you guys. Bye-bye.